Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with the 44th week of WeeklyPokerHand.com, where again, today I'm going to be going over a hand from a $10,000 buy-in online tournament. I played quite a long time ago. Um, here with King Queen on the button, you see we're playing 300-600. John Duthie elects to limp, and John Duthie is a little bit of a spazzy type player who plays just kind of weird. I think he has a lot of money and just sort of splashes around most of the time. Um, so right here, I think we can go ahead and justify a raise. If I call here, the blinds are going to come as long, along as well, and then I'm going to have to play relatively straightforward post-flop, and that's not necessarily what you want when you have something like king-queen. So right here, I like a raise. Um, my raise is a little bit large, actually. I think I would prefer something like 2,900 in today's game. So for over the past year, I have been sizing down my raise sizes just a little bit just because you do want to save money when players shove on you and you planned on folding, even though I'm really not bluffing here that often. So it gets back around to John Duthie, and he makes it 9,000 out of his 12,000 stack. And this is a tough spot because you need to figure out what your opponent's range is. And right here in this situation, I think maybe a third of the time his range is really strong stuff, like aces, kings, queens, and ace, king. And then I think the other two-thirds of the time his range is just super weak, and just really, really loose stuff, like, I don't know, 9-7 suited, jack-8 offsuit, stuff like that. And that may sound a bit surprising, but a lot of these players that do just have a lot of money and like to play for fun, they do make random plays in really bizarre spots. You actually see this happen a lot in live poker tournaments, where guys just randomly go nuts, and that's sort of the type of situation we're in right here, which doesn't really happen online a ton, but it does from time to time. So what we can do here is we can see how king-queen does against a very strong range. Let's give him a strong range of, you know, his powerful hands. You'll see the king-queen is in very bad shape. So if it, that only has 20% equity, 30% of the time, I think. Then maybe like 70% of the time, he, I think he's going to have a really wide range of just like all sorts of stuff that he decided to limp with, and now he gets fed up that I decided to make a play at him. So I think it's going to be just a lot of junk like this. And I don't really remember the table dynamics, but you will see guys that do make these sort of plays where they limp in with kind of a junky hand, and then they just go nuts. So I think it'll be something like this. I think we can actually discount these hands this time. So against a range like this, king-queen has 65% equity. So now we just have to get out our calculator and notepad. We have 20% equity... Well, okay, I think probably 30% of the time we're going to have 20% equity in a pot of, well, if we get it all in, it's going to be 12 plus 12, 24, say 26, a 26K 26 pot. So we're going to have 0.2 equity in a 26,000 chip pot plus 0.7, we're probably going to have 60... What was it? 65% equity? Yeah, 65% equity. In a 26,000 chip pot. And this equals... Let's get out the calculator. We have 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 times 26,000 equals... I'm actually going to pause this while I take care of this type of thing. Okay, I typed out the math here for you guys. Um, basically, you see, if we do get it all in, and I think that these numbers are correct, is in 30% of the time, he's going to have his monster. 70% of the time, he's going to have nothing. We're going to end up with having about 14,000 chips worth of equity in this pot. Okay? So what that means is by the time he gets back to me, I have to put in another 9,000 chips... And if I do put in that 9,000 chips, I'm going to have 14,000 chips in equity. If I fold, I have minus 3,600 chips in equity because that's what I already have in. So obviously, um, we only have to put in 9,000 to try to win effectively, uh, where was it? To try to win 13,900, 13,390 chips. So that's going to be a good deal. We're going to end up profiting in this spot most of the time, even though from time to time we will be absolutely crushed. If I think John Duthy is as spewy as I think he is, I think we have a pretty easy call. So, um, this time he did have 6-4 suited. Let's see if I put, even put that in the range. So, as you see, his range was even looser than I thought it would be. 
And I, I really don't think that's that surprising. And, you know, you may find this to be a shock that he had something as weak as this, but that's how some of these guys play. They are not scared to get in there and gamble, and if they think you're pushing them around, they will go after you. So always pay attention to your opponents. That way you can make good reads and be able to get it all in really, really good. This has been Jonathan Little for WeeklyPokerHand.com. Thanks for watching.